Well, two teenagers are safe at home tonight after spending an entire night in the western foothills of Maine. The pair of 15 year old boys visiting from Rhode Island were snowmobiling from Mexico when their ride took a dangerous turn. WMTW News 8's Katie Thompson has their survival story live from Mexico tonight. Katie? And Tracy, one of those teenagers actually grew up in this area. He says he grew up on a snowmobile, and his family taught him at a very young age, if you ever get yourself in one of these situations, don't panic. These two are going to have a very good story to tell when they return to school on Monday, and possibly a lesson learned as well. How are you feeling today? Oh, tired, <laughs> hungry. Thankfully, he's home. <laughs> tired, hungry. And alive. I am relieved. It's been a long night. Been worried stiff. 15 year old Ty and his friend Jonah reunited with family after what was supposed to be a two hour snowmobile ride turned into a night of survival. We were so worried last night. They were supposed to show up here around 10 on snow machine and they never showed up. About halfway into an evening ride from Mexico to Andover, the boy's snowmobile became stuck after venturing down an ungroomed trail. We sat down for five, ten minutes and we started feeling our toes going numb. So we started moving around, started warming up a little bit, got out to the lake, and then probably walked about half a mile out. In sub zero temperatures, they searched for shelter and warmth, eventually finding a shed and starting a fire. You got to keep calm when you're in a survival situation. That's the whole thing. Once you, once you know you're done and you're stuck and you did the water, take a deep breath, realize where you are, and start walking. Keep moving. That's the only thing you got to do. Meanwhile, six game wardens, dozens of volunteers, and the Mexico Fire Department were searching. I mean, the temperatures last night at 10 below zero, and not really knowing how they were dressed, I mean, that's cold, no matter how you cut it. So to be able to have any kind of shelter in a, in a night like that is very fortunate. Game wardens say they're lucky to be alive, but that this could have been avoided. I would consider this to be a pretty inexpensive lesson for these young men. I know the heart of a 15-year-old boy, and I understand it. But let's take that, what we've learned, and let's apply it for next time. And Maine game wardens say they advise against snowmobiling after dark, especially with temperatures as low as we saw them last night. But they said if you do, you just really have to be prepared for anything. Just an incredible story overall. We are live in Mexico tonight. Katie Thompson, WMTW News 8.